Have you ever stumbled upon a show that felt like a cozy embrace of nostalgia, regardless of when you discovered it? Silver Spoons effortlessly embodies that sentiment. This sitcom, born in the early 80s, resonated with audiences for its lighthearted humor and endearing characters. The series delved into the life of a wealthy, carefree young man, Ricky Stratton, as he navigated the complexities of growing up under the guidance of his eccentric father and newfound paternal figure, Edward Stratton Roman III. While the show's premise might seem familiar, Silver Spoon stood out with its heartwarming moments, often teaching life lessons wrapped in humor. Each character added a unique dynamic to the storyline, creating a beloved ensemble that audiences connected with. Now, we're curious, did a particular character's journey resonate with you, or did the show's overarching themes leave a lasting impact? Share your insights or your favorite character from Silver Spoons. We're eager to hear your experiences and cherished memories in the comments below. Tell us about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this show. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Silver Spoons, a beloved 80s sitcom, followed with the life of Ricky Stratton, a wealthy young boy raised by his carefree father, Edward Stratton Roman III. Premiering in 1982, the show was created by Martin Cohan and Howard Leeds, drawing inspiration from Cohan's own experiences. Ricky's contrasting upbringing with his father's extravagant lifestyle versus his down-to-earth grandfather's values formed the crux of the series. The iconic character of Edward, played by the charismatic Joel Higgins, epitomized indulgence yet harbored a warm heart beneath his lavish persona. Ricky's best friend, the endearing but mischievous Derek Taylor, added comedic charm to their escapades. The show's essence lay in the interplay of generational differences and the evolving father-son bond resonating with audiences. What set Silver Spoons apart was its knack for blending humor with heartfelt moments, crafting a narrative that balanced wit with genuine emotion. The series captured the zeitgeist of the era, becoming a cultural touchstone through its memorable theme song and iconic elements like the train in Edward's living room. The impact of Silver Spoons extended beyond its runtime, influencing subsequent family-oriented sitcoms and leaving an enduring mark on popular culture, resonating with audiences who still cherish its nostalgic charm today. The camaraderie among the cast of the 82 TV series was evident both on and off screen. Ricky Schroeder and Alfonso Ribeiro shared their real first names with their characters, adding a personal touch to the show. Even guest stars like Joey Lawrence brought their own names into their roles. One of the show's distinct features was the living room filled with arcade games. This wasn't just set dressing Jason Bateman revealed how the cast and crew made the most of it during breaks, turning gaming into a friendly competition, wagering high scores. Bateman also shared about his friendship with Schroeder during filming. Being new to L.A., Schroeder found a friend in Bateman who took him under his wing, sharing experiences and, at times, mischief during breaks. Although their contact waned after Bateman left the show, the memories remained. These personal touches behind the scenes added depth to the on-screen chemistry, making the show more than just a series, it became a shared experience for the cast, leaving lasting connections. The show originally conceived for adults took a turn when NBC transformed it into a platform for the young Ricky Schroeder. The Stratton Mansion, a pivotal backdrop in the series, isn't what it seems it's actually Compton Winniates, an English country house. Jason Bateman, reminiscing about his time on the show, recalled a hillside mishap involving Yellow Jackets and Schroeder. Their friendship extended beyond the screen, with Bateman sharing anecdotes about their off-screen camaraderie. These behind-the-scenes tidbits add depth to the show's legacy, offering a glimpse into the personal moments that made it more than just a series a shared experience among the cast that left lasting connections. Silver Spoons, the 82 TV series, had its behind-the-scenes quirks. For instance, Jason Bateman and Ricky Schroeder found themselves in a bit of trouble while fishing in Jaws Lake on the Universal Studios' backlot. Bateman reminisced about their misadventures, recalling how Thade ride their bikes, luring studio tour trams up the hill to the lake, where Thade merrily scoop up goldfish. This playful act caught the attention of studio operations, leading to a note sent to their parents, slightly disrupting the atmosphere intended for scaring visitors with a great white shark. Interestingly, Norman Lear's Embassy Television produced this iconic series, and Harry Anderson turned down the role of Edward Stratton. 
These off-screen snippets shed light on the show's lesser-known moments, adding depth to its history. The character Derek Taylor from the 82 TV series Silver Spoons gained immense popularity, causing concern among the show's producers that he might overshadow the star, Ricky Schroeder. Consequently, Derek was written off after the second season. Jason Bateman, who portrayed Derek, later starred in his own short-lived series, It's Your Move, before landing a role as Valerie Harper's eldest son in the NBC sitcom Valerie. Interestingly, Derek's character, known for his love of being hip, had an unexpected connection to early rock and roll. He admired Paul Anka. This link extends beyond the show as Jason Bateman, who played Derek, is married to Amanda Anka, one of Paul Anka's daughters. They have two daughters together, Francesca Nora and Maple Sylvie Bateman. Another intriguing detail lies in the doorbell chime at the Stratton residence. It's the same sound used for George and Louise's apartment in the Jeffersons. Both shows shared producers and directors, linking them beyond their separate storylines. These lesser-known facets offer intriguing insights into the 82 TV series Silver Spoons, showcasing the impact of characters, connections beyond the screen, and shared production elements that contributed to its unique appeal. The Living Room Train in the 80s show was no mere prop, it was a real steam engine. Ricky Schroeder, one of the main stars, mentioned in a 2015 interview that the train wasn't just for show, it carried real air pressure and was quite risky. While most of the cast enjoyed riding it, Schroeder admitted feeling anxious due to its potential danger. The train set the stage for many scenes, but held hidden risks that made Schroeder uneasy. The show connected its young cast in more ways than one. During the first three seasons, Schroeder and others attended school alongside child actors from various NBC shows, including Different Strokes, The Facts of Life, and more. They shared a learning space with fellow child stars, creating a unique camaraderie among those shaping 80s television. Behind the scenes, Schroeder engaged in playful antics during breaks. He recounted how Todd Bridges from Different Strokes would playfully chase him with a water pistol, providing a glimpse into the off-screen antics shared among young actors of that era. These lesser-known aspects shed light on the show's off-screen dynamics and the real risks involved in its iconic set piece, giving a different perspective beyond the series' on-screen charm. As we draw the curtains on this journey through the tapestry of reminiscence, I encourage you to pause and let the echo of Silver Spoons resonate within your memories. A show that painted the canvas of childhood with vivid hues, sparking nostalgia and laughter in its wake. Perhaps it was the endearing characters or the whimsical escapades that wove themselves into the fabric of your youth. Your personal connection to this series, a unique thread in the grand tapestry of shared experiences, deserves to be celebrated. Take a moment to unearth those cherished moments, those anecdotes that still bring a smile to your face or a warm flutter to your heart. Let your voice resonate in this symphony of recollections. Share your treasured memories, your thoughts that glisten like gems amidst the passing years. Engage, reminisce, and revel in the collective joy that emerges from these shared narratives. Thank you for allowing this brief sojourn into the corridors of nostalgia. Your time and interest are valued threads in this communal quilt of memories. Until we meet again to traverse the trails of cherished remembrances, embrace the beauty of the stories that bind us.